Peter Chang here for Macho Cave and in this step I'm installing the motherboard screws to the Antec 900 gaming case and what makes this difficult is that the uh, Asus P67 Sabertooth board has that thermal shroud around it and it's and it's also kind of recessed so sometimes when I'm trying to get the screw positioned correctly it it falls out of position so I have to actually tilt the case to uh, retrieve my uh, case screw uh, or that motherboard screw to fasten it back towards the case again. On a uh, higher end computer case you would actually have a slide out tray so this really isn't a problem. You just slide out the tray and then fasten in everything as you need it and then uh, use another switch or another screw to lock in the board or the sliding board component to your computer case. But in our case, uh, another solution would be uh, if you were just installing like, like a smaller CPU cooler, like a stock cooler, uh, maybe you would uh, actually just uh, screw in all the motherboard case screws and then, uh, and then snap in the uh, stock heat sinking cooler. But because I'm planning on overclocking, uh, the Nokia cooler is actually easier, or it was actually easier to install outside of the case uh, due to the massive size of the uh, CPU cooler. But I've also seen people install it inside the case as well too. So uh, just for me, I found that easier to install outside uh, and I'd rather just deal with uh, uh, trying to get the uh, case screw secured a little bit better once I got that processor in there but you see there's a pros and cons to that step it's just becomes harder to install the case screws at this point if I was to install the uh, processor and heatsink and fan it would have been harder to install the processor heatsink and fan uh, inside the case uh, pliers also could help you with this as well um, my uh, screwdriver in this case isn't uh, isn't a magnetized head screwdriver so uh, generally you would avoid having a magnetized components next to your sensitive computer parts but in this case I would make an exception because this uh, this uh, motherboard has that thermal shroud it's, it, it might uh, decrease the magnetism there so uh, thanks to the assist of my uh, father-in-law at court and it's just great to have them there to help me tilt the case to get the motherboard case screws all, all set up correctly. And just remember, uh, it, it gets a little nerve wracking, but go ahead and just take your time. Patience is your best tool. And if you're patient, you'll be able to get all the case screws in like, like I did. So just take your time and just go with the flow. Uh, you may have to tilt the case a few times, but it just kind of comes with the territory. And remember, everything matters, and thanks for watching this video clip.